How's it feel, man? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Let's go. Let's go. This is it. This is the last time. Do it for your family. Do it for your buddies. Do it for your community. And do it for the pioneer. Let's go, boys. <laughs> we begin on East Grand Rapids opening drive. Mr. Football nominee Joe Glenn Denning, nearly 2,500 yards coming in, up the gut for 16 more down to the Inkster two. He punched in his 38th TD on the next play, Pioneers up 7-0. Second time in three years, Inkster's been in the big game, and it wasn't long before the offense went to work. Allen Freeman busting his way for 25. Same drive, but now in the second quarter, Devin Gardner scrambling, then finding Cameron Gordon all alone in the end zone. Inkster converts the two and led 8-7. After the Pioneers made it 14-8, Inkster driving again. Garner made nothing before running out of real estate at the 10. Three plays later, it's Freeman again, blowing by the blue and gold for the five-yard score, and the Vikings are back up by a deuce. The Pioneers can put up points in a hurry. 16 ticks left in the half, Andrew Thompson throwing it up to his tight end, Chris Blair in the back of the end zone. The East fans fired up, leading 22 to 16 at the break. As much as the Vikings wanted it, the second half Pioneer power game was punishing. Five minute, 12 play drive to start the third. Glenn Denning, 177 yards in the game. Breaking off his third touchdown, seven touchdowns in back-to-back -back title games, ties former Pioneer legend Kevin Grady for the state's most all-time in the finals. EGR sealed it in the fourth. Thompson with the fake, then spotting Blair who sidesteps in for a second score on the night. And East Grand Rapids wins their third straight Division III state championship. Final score, 43 to 24.